Hey guys, um, a funky monkey here, and the 12th anniversary event has just gone live uh, this morning. And so, first off, where is it located? It is located in House Fiarlin, right next to Party Crashers. So get off the airship and run to Party Crashers here. Um, I'll be going over some of the loot uh, that you can uh, buy with party tokens, and then we'll run through the event, uh, which is just this quest right here, um, anywhere from 35 down to level one. Um, I did it once earlier at level 30. I'm currently level 30, and I got five party tokens here. Uh, I didn't realize it went up to 35, so I'll run it 35 here and see how much we get, and then give my opinion on price per effectiveness of all these items here. So the turn-in is right here. You just talk to Tolero right here, and some of these items, like this one, I'm not sure, it doesn't really do anything, uh, just a hat. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like, kind of looks like the old uh, ones you used to get in Crystal Cove, so we'll have to, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one. This one's kind of interesting, it's like the key to even a star or the, uh, the bottle of mist to go to uh, Ravenloft, this one just takes you to Stormreach. Uh, I don't know. I might get it. Might not at a hundred. Uh, party favor. We'll have to see how how uh, how much it's worth it. If you do have scrolls, you will call on me again, and soon. Uh, sorry about that. Apparently, they changed the volume for the sentient gems. I'm just gonna turn that off right here now. Actually, uh, they increased the volume with this update, so it's very uh, very loud now and more more annoying than it used to be. It used to not be so annoying that I kind of kept it on. Uh, let me try and find it here because that was really, really annoying here. Um, somewhere here in the UI settings. Just give me a second here to find it. I just left it on for effects. It didn't really... It was really low, and you couldn't couldn't really hear it that much, so it wasn't that big of an issue. But this update, I don't know if I can find it here. Um, let me see here. No, I hear. It. Hopefully that does it. it. Just says text. I don't know if that's the volume. But anyway, um, let's get back to where I was. Uh, if that's not it, we'll see. Um, it's just really loud now, so that's annoying. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, if you have teleport scrolls, um, you can just teleport to the marketplace. I don't know where this takes you. Uh, I'd assume it's the same as just the normal teleport scrolls, so it's usefulness, more useful at low levels. Just, nah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get it and see where it where it puts you, but I don't think it's going to be that useful. Um, they have a, a hireling, or not hireling, a, uh, a pet, uh, so you don't do anything, but if that's something you really enjoy, collecting all the pets, uh, there's another one here for you. Um, the first item I probably will get here is the Sentient Jewel of the Kobold. Uh, not for any particular reason, just because I like to collect all of these jewels. I have all of the ones except the one that drops in the raid at the moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of cool. I just like to have all the gems just to see see the different voice uh, commands of what they do, how they sound. So those are not really useful in any sense. I mean, you can get these anywhere in Ravenloft, really. But overall, eh, kind of neat. Um, so now we get to the, some of the weapons here. This light hammer. Um, I was scrolling through these earlier, and they're not. None of these items are particularly great. They're not bad. Um, this one is a light hammer. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get this one. I don't really have a build that would use that. Um, maybe it seems like a... I, I don't, I'm not really entirely sure what build might use this. It's a little bit underpowered for level 30. You don't... I mean, some of these um, bonuses and the base damage rating just kind of, eh. If you've got any of the new new items from the raids in Ravenloft, then they're going to be uh, a lot better than this. 
Um, same with the sickle. I, I'm not sure this is. It's not bad. I mean, armor piercing's okay. The base damage rating's higher than the other one, but overall, just kind of average. Nothing really crazy here. Um, these boots, though, are kind of interesting. Um, like the other ones, the stats are average, um, but at level 30, it does have insightful strength plus six, which is insightful strength is very hard to slot at level cap. There's not a whole lot of items that have it, in fact. Um, you're basically stuck with either Kanath crafting it or using legendary green steel on a weapon. So I probably will get these boots just for the insightful strength. Um, I might not use them, but it'll give my uh, melee uh, character a little bit more, a little bit more um, ability to kind of change his gear around there without necessarily dropping seven strength. Here, I'll only if I have these, I only lose uh, one because these are only plus six. The stats are kind of average. Stun in fifteen. That's you know not really low. There's a lot higher in uh, Slave Lords and in Ravenloft. I think they are up to 20 and 22-ish. So definitely only for the insightful strength here. These gloves, um, again, they're kind of average. Um, I might get them. The Charisma it works well with like a Paladin build that uses uh, that uses uh, Divine Might. The insightful Charisma is kind of nice there, but I think overall I'll probably skip these. Um, again, they're not, not great. Not, but not, nah. There's a lot of these items here are just average, in my opinion. Um, docents, uh, no way I'm getting a docent. Uh, I don't play Warforge or Bladeforge at all, so I'm not going to get them. Um, at level 30, this just seems very, very weak. Um, insightful physical shelter and insightful fortification, just that's for, for a docent, just seems really, really bad. Um, same with this armor, I think, here. I mean, at level 30, that's just, it's just not good enough, to be honest. Not worth uh, 100 party tokens. Um, moving on to the shield here. Kind of an interesting one. Um, pretty low base damage. There's a shield in Ravenloft that's going to give you a much higher base damage. So I don't really have a tank build or use a, a sword and board paladin. I'm a two handed Tempest build. So. Overall, I'd probably pass on the shield as well. One interesting thing to note here, they don't have minimum levels, but I think um, if you look at the text here, it doesn't say that there's a minimum level on any of these. So I'd be kind of interested in seeing if there is no minimum level on these items. Um, I assume there is. It's just not shown up here. Maybe it's bugged or they didn't put it there. But overall, at level 30, most of these items are pretty, pretty weak to medium uh, just, just overall, kind of, kind of weak. Um, same, same goes with these, with these clubs. Uh, for like insightful evocation focus, you're gonna be able to get higher on the uh, Night Mother Scepter, and 150 combustion is not, it's not that high anymore. Um, back in the day, uh, maybe like a year or two ago, it might have been decent, but overall, a lot of these. These scepters, you can basically just get a Night Mother's and a uh, Morning Lord scepter, and that's basically much better than what these are right here. Um, at low level, these could be decent. Um, and again, I don't they don't say what minimum level they have, so if this is level 30 with no minimum level, and you're doing a TR, that might be worth it. Uh, I don't know. I'd assume that there is a minimum level, and they're just not showing it here. Uh, and that about covers all of these scepters here. There's a Evo, or there's a, there's one. The names are kind of cool here. Shock and Forum Post. It's kind of, it's kind of something they're going through here with the Forum Post, uh, whatnot. Um, as for the Necromancy one, again, um, if you're a, if you're a Taster at level 30, you're going to be able to get higher insightful Necromancy focus there. And overall, this is not, not that great of a weapon for you. Um, this one, the band hammer, is very, very intriguing. Um, I do know, I, I had a dev confirm this, it is level 15 minimum. So you, you can use this at level 15, and this seems like it would be a pretty good level 15 item. You Note, know, you can't have a sentient bonus on this, so you can't put a sentient jewel in this. Um, one very intriguing thing here is the anchor and ability, which grants immunity to effects that are time-based. Um, so my my 
just off the top of my head, the two places you might use this is in Tower of Despair. I feel like this would probably, I think this would uh, prevent Horoth from banishing you, uh, so you don't necessarily need the boots of Anchorin anymore. And also in Vaughn 6, the Plane of Night, where the where the Dijin can teleport you back from one base to another, um, you could probably use this to prevent that. Overall, it's a very niche ability. I feel like it's, mm, it's not that great, but at level 15, this item is probably worth getting, in my opinion. Uh, maybe two. I think they're one-handed, so always good getting two of them. And this would probably be something I'm going to get for my uh, melee build, although I don't necessarily know if I'm going to use it a lot. Now we get down to the rose color goggles. These are very interesting. It just says it'll take you back to 2006. What that means, I haven't the slightest clue. But seeing as I currently have five uh, party favor, um, we will at the end of this video, I'll probably buy these and see what they do. I'm very kind of interested just to see, see what they do. I have no idea. It's interesting. Um, Here's another cosmetic, tinfoil hat. I really have no, <laughs> it's just the hat. So I don't know what it looks like. Um, maybe someone will upload a picture somewhere on the forums. Uh, it's, if you're into cosmetics, that's good. I kind of think they're kind of a waste of an inventory slot at the moment, but we'll see. Um, the broccoli bashers here are kind of interesting. Um, to me, these kind of Stream ooze beaters. Um, I'll probably grab one or two for my melee build um, since I don't really have anything better to beat oozes with. Uh, you can probably came with craft something similar. Um, overall, though, this is probably an, one of the other items worth getting here. Um, then we go to page five here. This is where some of the interesting stuff is. Uh, these these flasks are very intriguing. It's a 90 second eternal flask. The cooldown down there says it's 90 seconds, so you can chug these continuously, or you just use it, and then 90 seconds later you chug it again once it uh, runs out. It gives you, each of these gives you a different buff, so this one gives you a plus 10 bonus to jump, uh, spellcraft and balance, and uh, some will save and a rune arm re recharge rate. So that's that's probably nice for a 25% uh, for a uh, charge rate on a rune arm. It's probably pretty good for a... Uh, for an artificer, um, worth keeping around. And you can keep these continuously up. Once it expires, though, your movement speed is reduced by 15%, and your dodge decreases by 20%. So um, it's a pretty steep debuff, but this debuff does uh, re get removed once you drink another one. So you don't have to, if you just keep on drinking these, you won't ever have a debuff. So, and for all of these potions, the debuff is the same. Um, which is intriguing. I don't. The, it's just very. Um, for using as like a jump potion clicky at, at low level, I I feel like you're just better off using just normal potions. Um, I think this one's kind of just more artificer focus, which is something they're they've been uh, going for with the new update coming out, uh, focusing on artificers. This next one will probably be pretty big for any. Any tank, uh, any tank I feel would want to get this. Uh, ten plus ten bonus intimidate's always nice, uh, and then the the hate generation from ranged and melee. Uh, again, it has the same debuff as the last one, and I, I'll probably get this this one on my on my melee build. I'm thinking of making them into a tank, and this is probably a good one to have on any any melee build you're considering might tank a boss or anything like that. That plus 10 intimidates pretty nice. It's a nice boost that what you would otherwise have to pass up. Um, and then finally, the eternal flask of happy thoughts. Uh, the This one, I'm, I'm definitely getting this one for my sure cannon here. Just because uh, I've noticed in some of the new raids, I pull aggro very quickly. Uh, like in Babala Saga, we were running that recently and <laughs> I just, when the mounds come up, I do a mini shot, or not a mini shot, 10,000 stars, start burning down one of the mounds, and the mound comes right for you. And this build's not very tanky at the moment. It's just like a second life build. So um, overall, you know, that 75% bonus to heat reduction is going to be huge uh, for any for anyone that doesn't want to aggro in any of these new raids. Normally it's not an issue, but when you... I've noticed with some of the new weapons and whatnot, it's pretty easy to pull aggro fairly quickly. 
So this is definitely something I'm going to get. This this one, the 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 superior bold and the uh, the happy one. I'm definitely getting those two. And then these cookies. I'm not a big fan of consumables like these. Um, so like this is uh they're pretty cheap, only two party favor. But overall, I I mean plus one festive bonus to all stats is not it's not not that high. Um, it's nice, but I'll probably pass on these unless unless I'm able to get a lot of uh, party tokens. Uh, maybe when the event ends and I'll see how many party tokens I have left over. So that is all the items here. Uh, through all of them. Uh, quick summary here. Uh, probably getting the gem and some of the potions. And then probably the boots and uh, that's probably about it. So let's go ahead and run the, the quest here. Uh, you just hit this... Uh, this teleporter right here. I'm going to go in on level 35. Um, I did 30 earlier and I got five uh, party tokens. I didn't realize it was up to level 35 at the time, but um, so hopefully we'll see. Um, with the prices, I feel like five per run is not great. Neither is 10, so hopefully we get a fair amount of tokens here. The kobold points um, so this this quest is very similar. It reminded me a lot of the old epic quest the party crashers back when level cap was 20. The There's four optionals here, and you're basically going around hunting developers. So if you've ever had an issue with the developer here, um, now is the quest to take your anger out on him. Uh, so we have the first developer up here, Steel Star. He's, uh, he's a big Artificer fan from what I hear. So let's go ahead and show him that Artificers are not that great. Oop, I got the wrong weapon. Together, our power will grow. Yeah, that, that, cult, that uh, Sentient Gem volume really went up with this update, and it's really kind of annoying. So I might consider muting that now that <laughs> it's really loud. Um, I haven't figured out exactly how to lower that. Um, I've only been on for an hour or so. Um, I think we have another developer in here. Uh, yeah, that's right. This one, this one does a bunch of neg levels. Cordovan, always issuing out those bands here. Uh, negging you down to the stature. Uh, and uh, overall, the difficulty is pretty, pretty easy. Uh, it's not too difficult, so it's average difficulty. Uh, definitely soluble for uh, most people. Tossing together a group, you can complete these pretty pretty quickly. Um, let me remove this neg level here. You will call on me again, and soon. Yeah, once again, that, that volume is really kind of annoying. Door. <clears throat> ah, so let's get this next one here. Didn't have any issues with that last time. Uh, I'll just skip ahead to this this door right here. You warily enter we'll the come back to that one. Distant sounds. If I recall correctly, a flutter of wings. Somewhere, a one of these doors path. here. The scrape of something being pushed across the floor. Ooh, there's the uh, the semi uh, mini boss here. I think Firewood's a new developer. I might be wrong. I'm not completely up to date. Let's see if we can find the other. One of the uh, developers is this one. I think it was this room here. Ah, there he is. The strange flying head laughs maniacally and then explodes into a shower of these, bats. These are not required to complete the quest, but they will increase the uh, the amount of... Um, isn't that true? Gotta fend off that angry horde of Formanites. I feel a very... Uh, they're kind of hitting on the uh, forum posts here with this event. Um, there's another door down here, so I think this is where the other one is. Uh, where Severlin is. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, yeah. He's sitting on a throne here. A figure sits brooding on a throne, surrounded by skulls. Mm. 
the vanquished warrior gives you one last defiant look. Next time. So those are just so uh, optionals. You don't need to do those. They're very, uh, they're not hard. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, pretty quick. And those should give you more, uh, more party favor when you complete the quest. That should get you more tokens. Um... I'm trying to remember. Party master, Harbor Master Zinn is down here in this room, so we'll just jump down here. Harbor Master Zinn motions for you to stop. The kobolds have taken over the Chapter House. No one so is So this event is also very kobold themed. Uh, it's a mix of like the old Harbor epic master quest and the door. The kobolds are back with the kobold there. take Maybe on you it. Can do something with them. Uh, which which comes in line with the kobold gem there. The whole theme of this event is kind of cobalt based with the new sentient gem. Uh, so we're gonna have to fight our way through these, uh, and like I said, these are they're not level challenge rating 35 monsters. They're they're not they're not that difficult. An average, most of the most of the population should be able to solo these pretty quickly, and. Um, Welcome to your doom! They did mention in the release notes that they're gonna have the sentient gems are gonna say the same thing less off now. That was kind of a thing. I've just noticed that it's not, they're not saying it a whole lot as, as anymore. I mean, fairly regularly, but they're not, it's not like every kill I used to get something popping up. So it's, they've definitely toned it down a little bit, but they did tone up the volume, and that's kind of annoying to me. But. I'll have to go back through my settings after this and see if I can find it. I never bothered with it earlier because the, the volume was pretty low to begin with. Um, but definitely turning that up kind of made it more a little bit more annoying recently. As you can see, the quest is pretty straightforward. Not, it's not uh, too difficult. Uh, very similar to the Maybar quest uh, during the Halloween event. Just uh, quick and pretty, pretty easily farmed. Um, if you get a full group in here, I figure you just you you'd run right through it without stopping. Now you know how kobolds feel when you go in their sewers. A little bit of lag there. What is wrong with you now? very interested to see how many uh, party favor you get for doing this at camp at level 35. Um, that, that'll depend on some of the items I get. Um, if it's going to take forever to farm out all these party favor, then I probably won't bother with some of the other items that are a little bit less useful, like the uh, teleporter. Um, I have teleport scrolls in all my characters, so if it takes me you know, 10 runs to get that, I probably won't bother with it. Our enemies are destined to fall! I'm not, I'm not gonna run that 10 times just to get that harbor teleport, or the marketplace teleport, my bad there. It's, it, you know, teleport scrolls do the job just fine. Uh, I'll, I'm interested to see where it drops you, but I'm just assuming it's the same as the teleport scrolls, and, you know, I always carry a stack of teleport scrolls with me on every character. The kobolds jeer at you as you approach the gate.
Pathetic. My weapon doesn't like me a whole lot. So. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one this is. I think this is just the Inquisitive one. I can't quite remember. Uh, I've grabbed all of them. I just just for keepsakes. That's why I'll, I'll definitely get the Cobalt Gem just because to say I've got it. Says one to the other. I'm not sure what that is over there. Um, looks like an optional. We are destined to succeed. So that means we're gonna go check out, check it out, see what it does. Hmm, not sure if we fight it or not. Right, let's clear out these rays. Uh, these uh, these uh, skeletons seem to be. I don't know their dev names or whatnot. Maybe some of the lesser known ones. I don't recognize any of these, so uh, don't ban me for this. I don't know if we can fight this guy here. I think it's just uh, just, just talk to him. I don't know what that's all about. Overall, it has a very, uh, uh, very nostalgic feel from uh, back when level cap was 20. Uh, just kind of mm. similar to this bodes well. Very similar to the old epic, uh, the old epic uh, Party Crashers quest, uh, just with a bunch of kobolds. And so it's here we are the at the Overlord Dark of Overlords, Overlords, and of course it's cheats, which is kind of hilarious. My uh, rogue friends will find this hilarious. He he often thinks of himself as a dark overlord. So, um, apparently he's now into uh, that taking over Starmage with kobolds. Uh, You'll need to enlist her help if you want to save the addled halfling from himself. Uh, Melissa is yeah, she's right over here. I don't know if there's a shortcut. You have to you talk to Melissa and then. Uh, you have to run back to Jeets. Oh, right. I don't know so if there's a Malicia. shortcut. I'll help you with I think that's what that other friend. door was right there. Now to so we can run Jeets. back. Let's go ahead and check that out. Inside his mind. Yeah. So that's just a shortcut back. So you don't have to run all the way back, which is nice. When I first did this last time, I ran all the way back. So I didn't realize this was... Uh, realized that was a shortcut, so... Definitely Malicia take that for a uh, faster way to this. Now, this is very similar to the uh, old IQ quest. Uh, it's very clear. Dream of Jeets. Uh, bad stuff uh, used to be the good stuff in that quest, so it's all kind of opposite of this quest. Very much, uh, very much a repeat of this, but, but in reverse. The dark form recoils from your assault. Oi, this won't do it all. Naturally, so let's go ahead. we were how many, destined yeah, to many succeed. We got? we got eight party favor. That's that's lower than I was hoping. I was hoping I for more. What you're trying to do. What the bad thoughts? They're too strong. We have enough to check out the goggles, but I was kind of hoping that that you get more party favor for that. Who can say what secrets this contains? Okay, so let's uh, recall out and let's see what those goggles do. I'm very interested to see those goggles. I I have no idea what they are. They could literally be anything. So we now have 13. They're only, they only cost 10 party favor. So we'll go ahead. Oops, wrong one here. Uh, going back through this list, though, uh, some of these, like, I, I'm not going to bother with this hat. And I probably won't bother with, with this. I'd have to run that, like, uh, let me think here, like 20, not 20, like 13, 12, 13 times. 
not really worth it. Um, same with this Kobold certificate for a hundred. I'm, I'm not going to bother farming one out. Um, I'll probably farm out the gem here, but even now 250 is a lot. And yeah, definitely won't bother with any of these. Um, how much are the boots? The boots, for 20, uh, a 100 party favor. I'll probably get them, but I was kind of hoping we get more. I'm not going to bother with any of these armors. Uh, definitely not going to bother with these clubs uh, for a hundred for <laughs> for all of those. I'm not going to farm this out that many times. And same with the tinfoil hat. I don't know why I'm going to bother with that. Um, but let's check out the goggles here. Let's see what these do. Let's go ahead and put these on. Hmm. Didn't change anything. Except it changed our level cap. <laughs> so we are now level 10. All of my stats are super low. Which is funny, I still have all my uh, level 30 gear on. Didn't remove that. I don't know. Let's go ahead and try and enter a level 30 quest. Um, we'll just jump into one here in the marketplace, see what it does, see how long we last. <laughs> uh, for 230 hit points in a level 30 quest. I, that's, that's actually not that squishy back when it was uh, level cap was 10, but now I feel like we're going to get destroyed. Um, let's go ahead and step in here. Let's just do Tavern Brawl since it's right here. Um, this one right here. Being level 10, um, I think I'm just going to step in on normal. <laughs> See how it goes. Uh, I feel like it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, maybe toss some buffs here. Um, I can't wear these. Uh, Mind yourself. Those that. wounds are making a mess. That really changes the... Uh, even my even my uh, weapon knows this is this is wrong to do. Um, let's go ahead and put all the buffs we can on here because I feel like we're gonna need them. My UMD is a lot lower now. Uh, how low is my UMD? That's gonna suck. Twenty five, significantly lower. All of my other level thirty abilities are still working here. Let's go ahead and give these a try. Uh, forgetting anything. I'm um, definitely going to use my Affirmation Shuriken. Uh, I feel like I'm going to need it. These are level 30, so the damage hasn't changed at all. Nothing can stand against us if you follow my instructions. The Affirmation Shuriken is very useful here. Uh, definitely very useful for for uh, Use the for, and you only have to, you don't have a whole lot of hit points. That's not good. All, all those false hit points are nice. I feel like you're gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge now doing a Reaper 10 quest with these goggles on. See how it goes. That'd be a very interesting video, I think. Not sure which quest I'd do, but. This is Our enemies are destined to fall! With the damage not changing, it's kind of intriguing. Um, definitely not too underpowered here. But that's mostly because... Uh, mostly because... Uh, I don't know. They're not hitting me. So is my armor class still pretty... What's my armor class here? Still doesn't seem like I've changed. My dodge is still 38%. Uh, yeah, I gotta free the wizards here. So let's go ahead and the freed mage attempts to uh, dispel the see uh, how hard these the on normal. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. But and their combined efforts will bring the barrier yeah, down. Two more wizards up here. You will call on me again and soon. Definitely want to keep that affirmation shirt, you know. One thousand hit points is kind of nice when you only have three hundred. The combined power of all four wizards shatters the tiefling's magical barrier. 
Fortis comes after you with a snarl on his lips. There we go. I'm gonna tear you to bits. Yeah, see, none of my epic destiny abilities are this whole removed. To its name. Uh, my healing doesn't seem to be changed. Uh, this character's never been great with self healing, so. But, hundreds about normal. Um, yeah, I think we just got to clear a couple of these mobs. Mo Stand in my way. Suffer the consequences. Exactly how many waves there are. I don't know if there's any upstairs or not. Ooh, a couple down here on the stairs. Ah, uh, those those ones that just disappear are so annoying. Just hiding from you. Come on, man. Shut yourself. Finally. Okay, there we go. We can finish them off here. Welcome to your doom! Destroying the portable hole's pocket dimension. Storm so that's what the goggles do. They put you at level 10. Uh, very interesting. Uh, that'll, that'll probably be a couple challenges you'll see on YouTube here. Uh, we did level 30 Reaper 10 with these goggles on, so that'll be, that'll be fun. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you guys around in the event and have fun.